Hello, good evening.
Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So, uh, for the new ones, para los nuevos que no estuvieron ayer, mi nombre es Eric Asensio. Yo voy a ser su uh, maestro, su teacher en este módulo uh, de básico 6. Uh, quisiera pues saber si ya tienen acceso a la plataforma y si todo está bien, ¿verdad? Si hay algún problema, me avisan. Okay. It seems everything is fine. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is to check about the platform. So this is the class of tonight. And here is the question. So remember that after the class uh, below the video, you will find a question so you can participate. And also remember that tonight we need to do this exercise. Para esta noche hay que hacer este ejercicio. Como les comentaba anteriormente, en este tipo de ejercicio donde tenemos que digitar, es importante tener cuidado con las mayúsculas, con el punto al final. A veces lo requiere y a veces no. Espacios o algún apóstrofe o símbolo que no sea el correcto. Entonces, si le sale mal y usted piensa que sí está correcta la oración, vea eso, vea si hay espacios, puntos de más o de menos, y si de plano no le sale, me avisa ahí en el chat, que me imagino que todos ya tenemos acceso al chat de la, de la clase del grupo, uh, y pues con gusto lo revisamos, ¿ok? But this is the homework for tonight so is the homework number two and there are only five questions okay good so now i'm going to check the attendance let's see how it goes <coughs> alvaro ernesto alvarado reyes <coughs> Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Presente. Good. Presente. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Presente. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martinez. Presente. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Presente. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. Present. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Presente. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Presente, teacher. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Present teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to start the class of tonight. For first of all, um, what do you remember of the class of yesterday? What did we check yesterday in the class? Do you remember? Use, use the, the bar candle. Very good. 
is the usage of the modal uh, can that is a verb that helps with other verbs right so and uh, when do we use can cuando utilizamos can very good when you request something for ability or possibility very nice so for example like can you open the door please or i can speak english or um i can go with you if you want so all those things are examples of can and its usage good so today we're going to start with other two models ahora vamos a ver otros dos models so let's see how it goes let me just go here and this is the presentation for tonight. So, how to use would be and could be. Actually, we're going to check about would. Okay, would and could in general. Not only would be and could be. Okay, so, eh, como hemos estado viendo, vamos a ir repitiendo siempre. Vamos a repetir para ver la, la pronunciation. So, everybody, please repeat. Would is an auxiliary verb. A modal auxiliary verb. A modal auxiliary verb. We use would mainly to. We use word mainly to. Talk about the past. Talk about the past. Talk about the past. Talk about the future in the past. Talk about the future in the past. Express the conditional mood. Express the conditional mood. We also use would. We also use would for other functions. For other functions. Such as such as expressing desire, expressing desire, polite requests and questions, polite requests and questions, opinion or hope, opinion or hope, wish and regret, wish and regret. Perfect, Dirigillo. Ahí está bien claro, ¿verdad? Todo lo que hacemos con will. Entonces, will is an auxiliary verb. Primero, la pronunciación, pronunciation, would. ¿Verdad? Will. No will. es con G. Hay mucha gente que desde el español cuando está aprendiendo will. este modal dice would. No, ¿verdad? Would. Would. ¿Ok? So, it's an auxiliary verb. It's a modal auxiliary verb. Entonces, ya vimos que los modals son verbos que ayudan a conjugar el verbo, ¿verdad? So that is very, very important. And uh, we use, ahí está como mainly dice, mainly use will. Uh, mainly, ¿qué es mainly? We use will mainly too. Es a mainly, what is that? Anybody? Pueden chequear el diccionarios, ¿verdad? Y cosas por el estilo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Principalmente. 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 Very good. So, we use will mainly to talk about the past. Para hablar del pasado. ¿Cuándo? Eso no lo vamos a ver ahorita, pero es importante que sepamos, ¿verdad? To talk about the past, talk about the future in the past. Para hablar acerca del futuro en el pasado. Will viene siendo como el pasado de Will. Sí, han escuchado Will, ¿verdad? Que creo que no lo hemos visto todavía. Pero Will es futuro. Entonces, cuando yo hablo de algo de que, que, que hablé en el pasado, digamos, pero es una acción para el futuro, yo ocupo, en vez de Will, ocupo Will. Así de fácil es. Igual no lo vamos a ver para eso ahorita. Express the conditional mood. Eh, mood, what is mood? Anybody knows what is mood? Mood. ¿Alguien sabe qué es mood? Mm. 
Ok, les cuento yo entonces. Mood en este caso es como la forma condicional. No vamos a ver la forma condicional todavía, pero se utiliza mucho will para eso. So, también mood significa, recordemos que hay palabras que tienen varios usos. Mood viene a ser a algo así como, como eh, estar, tener ganas de. Como cuando uh -huh. yo digo, I'm in the mood for shrimps. Tengo ganas de camarones, ¿verdad? Eso viene siendo. No significa okay. gana, ¿verdad? Pero sí, es así como se utiliza en inglés. I'm in the mood. ¿Ok? O cuando decimos, uh, you are in a bad mood. Estás de mal, mal humor, decimos. De mala. Es como, es como un estado, teacher. Es como un estado. Es un verbo que denota estado. Que yo estoy, que tengo ganas de, o que estoy de cierto humor, o que tengo ciertos sentimientos. Something like that. ¿Ok? Very good. Y luego dice, we use also, we also use wool for other functions, such as also. What is also? También. También. Very good. Such as. ¿Y eso qué es? Tanto como o así como. Muy así bien. Como. Ok. Se puede usar algo así como tales como. Así como, o sea, no es que signifique eso, recordemos eso, se utiliza así. So it's very important, okay? Very good, that is it. So expressing desire, desire, uh, expressing desire, ¿qué dice ahí? Expresa decisiones. Expresar desire es deseo. Deseo. Sorry. Yeah, that's good, para eso estamos acá, para ir puliendo el vocabulario. So, desire es como cuando yo, ya vamos a ver eso, cuando yo quiero algo, yo puedo ocupar would. Uh, polite requests and questions. Uh, what is polite requests? Educado. Ah, very good. Es como que cuando yo pido formalmente, muy bien, formalmente, educadamente. Es cuando yo pido algo, y lo quiero hacer de una manera educadamente, formal. Es decir, como cuando, uh, imagine that you are in a job interview. So, when you are in that kind of conversation, uh, in a business or something like that, then we're going to use will. Okay? Ya lo vamos a ver con ejemplos. So, opinion and hope. What is hope? Esperanza. Esperanza, cuando usted espera algo, ¿verdad? Yo espero que algo suceda, yo puedo usar would. Or opinion, ¿verdad? Yo haría esto, eso. Entonces, ahí usamos would. Eh, wish, what is wish? Deseo. Deseo, muy común eh, en los deseos. Cuando yo digo, I wish I would, y alguna otra cosa, ¿verdad? Y el último dice, regret. What is regret? Lamentar. Lamentar algo, cuando usted dice eso, no lo hubiera hecho. Ese hubiera hecho, es wool, ¿verdad? So, all these are part of wool. We are not going to see everything here. Uh, Salvador. Teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia en el desire y wish? Ok, deseo es algo que yo anhelo. Algo así como que um, yo tengo el deseo de comerme una pizza gigantesca con muchos camarones, algo así. Y wish es cuando yo deseo que algo sucediera. O sea, yo tengo un deseo. Yo quisiera ser millonario. Ese es un deseo que, pues, es casi... Es muy difícil, pero no es imposible, ¿verdad? So that is it. ¿Ok? Very good question. Good. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh, do you have any other questions here? No more questions. No vamos a ver todo el uso de wool en este momento, porque vamos iniciando. Hay mucho uso de wool y las cosas las vamos a ver ya en el intermedio y algunas hasta el avanzado. Pero es eh, importante ir conociendo los models. So, and we're going to go to the next one. Okay. So, this is the next one. The structure of wool. We are going to repeat. Vamos a repetir, everybody. Structure of wool. Structure of wool. The basic structure for wool is. The basic structure for wool is. 
Subject plus. Subject okay. plus. Auxiliary verb would. Auxiliary verb would. Plus main verb. Plus main verb. Note that. Note that. The auxiliary verb wool is invariable. The auxiliary verb wool is invariable. There is only one form, wool. There is only one form, wool. The main verb is usually. The main verb is usually. In the base form. In the base form. He will go. He will go. Okay, so. Uh, remember, pronunciation with words. Uh, cuando las, las palabras inician con S, nunca le ponemos E al principio. Structure. Okay. Spanish. Okay. So that is very important. So the structure of wool. The basic structure for wool is that the subject, I, you, he, my mother, uh, the man that sells popsicles, the subject in general. Plus, the auxiliary verb will, the model, verb, plus the main verb. Entonces, el sujeto más will más el verbo principal. No es will el verbo principal porque es un modal. El verbo principal es el siguiente, el que va después de will. ¿Ok? So, and it says, note that the auxiliary verb will is invariable. No cambia, ¿verdad? O sea, aquí no hay, no es que este vaya a ser para futuro, para presente o para terceras personas, tampoco. Ningún modo al cambio. There is only one form, would. And the main verb is usually in the base form. Entonces, el verbo principal, que no es would, sino el otro, siempre va, o usualmente, va en la forma eh, base. Go, be, o sea, no vamos a decir is, sino que be, um, jump, cook. So that is it. The structure is very, very easy. Do you have any questions here? Salvador Bernal. A question, a question teacher. Go ahead. Quiero eh, saber de la oración. ¿Cómo se traduce esa oración que está allí? He would go. Ah, ok. Eso es interesante. He will go. Uh, si yo dijera eso en español sería él iría. Entonces, ese will más el verbo es esa terminación que nosotros hacemos en español. Yo comería. O sea, I will eat. Ella vendría. She will come. Eh, nosotros estudiaríamos. We will study. Very easy. Very simple. Ahora, recordemos que hay varios usos de wool, ¿verdad? Eso es como si yo lo tradujera, pero de repente va a haber cosas que no son exactamente así. It will be different. Álvaro. Sí, teacher, este, no sé si ya lo mencionó, pero no me quedó claro. Okay. Este, el B, el B, este, ¿qué hace acompañando al wool, al, al modal, al modal wool? La verdad es que simplemente es otro verbo. O sea, que si yo digo, I will be your friend, mm. Yo diría, yo sería tu amigo. That is it. No es que haya una cláusula especial para will be. Eh, iniciamos con be porque es el verbo base que, con el que siempre iniciamos. Pero la verdad es que por eso le estoy enseñando un solo todos los verbos. ¿verdad? Porque es lo mismo. I will be, I will go, I will jump. Yo sería, yo saltaría, yo comería. It's, it's exactly the same. Okay. Okay. Sí vamos a ver un okay. poco más de invitaciones más adelante que es algo muy muy común con wool. Eso lo vamos a ver. No está ahí en el libro, pero lo vamos a ver. Okay. Good. Any other question? Okay. So, this is like the example. Teacher. Uh, go ahead. Se, no sería como... Go ahead. Álvaro. Sí, a question, teacher. No sería este, tal vez el B como un infinitivo, no, no tiene nada que ver con eso. 
El infinitivo es tú y el verbo. To be, to go, to jump. Eso es diferente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so this is like uh, the structure. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, es lo mismo, ¿verdad? So yo digo, I would like tea. She will not go. So that is it. It's going to be exactly the same. Entonces, vamos a agregar. Creo que acá tengo algo de eso. Okay, there is something else here. So, be careful, not that wool and hat have the same short form. Okay, this is important. Vamos a leer lo que está arriba nada más. Everybody, please. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Not that wool. Not, not that wool. And hat have. And hat have. The same short form is. He had finished. He had finished. He had finished. He liked coffee. He liked coffee. He would like coffee. He would like coffee. Okay, be careful. ¿Qué dice ahí? Cuidado, cuidado, verdad? Sea cuidadoso. Be careful. So, eh, wool y hat. Lo que dice acá es que si ven las oraciones de abajo, las dos oraciones dice he finished y la contracción es el apóstrofe con ad y la de abajo también, verdad? La contracción es el apóstrofe con ad, pero son palabras diferentes. ¿Cómo voy a saber yo cuándo es wool y cuándo es hat? Hat no lo hemos visto, pero lo vamos a ver después. Entonces es importante eso, cuando tengamos un reading o algo por el estilo. ¿Cómo vamos a saber eso? Fácil. Si el verbo principal está en pasado, entonces el auxiliar ahí es had. Si el verbo está en presente, entonces el auxiliar es wool. Eso es lo único. Entonces vamos a ver el verbo. Por ejemplo, he finished. Ese finish ed, yo sé que no lo hemos visto, pero lo vamos a ver en este módulo. Ese ed es pasado, no es presente. Entonces, mm -hmm. al ver yo finish con ed en pasado, yo sé que esa contracción de he no es he would, sino que es he had, como está en la siguiente parte. Y en la de abajo es al contrario. El verbo es like y no está en pasado está en presente. Entonces, ahí oh, yo okay. sé que el verbo o la, el auxiliar, que es la contracción que yo estoy viendo ahí, ese es he would, no es he had. Así vamos a diferenciar. ¿Ok? Teacher, o sea, de que would se usa en presente y had en pasado. Lo que pasa es que ese had con el verbo en pasado es un tiempo completo que lo vamos a ver allá en, a finales del intermedio lo vamos a ver. Vale. Entonces, eh, pero por si sale en alguna lectura, ustedes tienen, se, se hace esa pregunta, ¿verdad? Bueno, aquí ese es, ¿qué es? Pues ese es wool o es had. Entonces, la única, la única cosa que tenemos que ver ahorita es si el verbo siguiente está en pasado o en presente. Y si está en presente, es wool. Lo que está arriba, ¿cómo se usa y cómo es eso? Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Perfecto. Very good, perfect. So, do you have any question about this? Questions? No. Okay. No question. We are going to practice. Entonces, so we have, for example, we're going to write some exercises, some examples. So we have, for example, she will go to the party, for example. So that is an example with that one. She will go to the party. ¿Qué estoy expresando ahí? Una posibilidad también. Ella iría a la fiesta. She will go to the party. Okay? If we want to use the contracted form, si queremos contractarlo, podemos usar like this. She'd go to the party. Very good. So that is it. She'd go to the party is the same of she will go to the party. 
Okay, it's exactly the same. O sea, lo podemos usar normal o contractado, whatever you want. Okay, los dos son muy comunes. Both are very common. In negative, we can say she will not go to the party. So we only use not. It's very easy. She will not go to the party. Ella no iría a la fiesta. And also we can use a contraction. The contraction is going to be like this. She wouldn't, wouldn't. Okay, pronunciation is very important. Um, this is very similar to isn't. Isn't, okay. Cuando usamos, por ejemplo, la negación con el verbo to be, así con is, Mucha gente se confunde y dice isn't, pero no lleva una e ahí. Es isn't, ¿ok? Isn't. So, the same happens here. Lo mismo pasa con would. Wouldn't. She wouldn't. ¿Ok? No es wouldn't. She wouldn't. She wouldn't go to the party. ¿Ok? And it's the same with other subject so for example we can say they wouldn't uh, she uh, they wouldn't what we can uh, wouldn't cook pasta for example so they wouldn't cook pasta okay or we can say for example My, my little sister wouldn't watch TV, for example. So you can see there is no change. There is no change for that. Okay, my little sister wouldn't watch TV. Mi hermanita no vería televisión. So that is it. Very, very easy. Do you have any question? Okay, no questions. That is very good. Teacher, uh, uh -huh. eh, wall también se utiliza entonces para futuro, para auxiliar futuro. No, eso todavía no lo vamos a ver. Lo que pasa es que es para mm -hmm. hablar del futuro en el pasado, pero... Ahí no hemos llegado todavía, porque ese es un tiempo completo que también lo vamos a ver más adelante. Sí, quizás quizá me equivoqué porque decía ahí que si iba, si iba a ir a la fiesta. Ah, ella no iría. Ahí sería una posibilidad. Ah, okay. Ella no iría o ella iría a la fiesta. Okay. Perfecto. Gracias. Good, perfect. Y sí se puede, pero aún no lo vamos Perfect. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Good. Any other question, my friends? Repeat the pronunciation the would and wouldn't, please. Of course. In affirmative is would. 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 Uh -huh. right. would. Okay. And in negative is wouldn't. 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 Okay. Thanks. Good. Perfect. So let's speak about questions. Okay. We can use that in questions. Okay. For example, would you cook with me? Aquí es donde más se utiliza en preguntas, porque es para preguntar, para request. ¿Se acuerdan allá que hablamos de request cuando son bien polite, verdad? Would you cook with me? ¿Cocinarías conmigo? Vea, eso ya es bien natural, verdad? ¿Cocinarías conmigo? And the answer could be yes, I would. O no, I wouldn't uh, it's not like this so would you y el verbo es como para preguntar algo ¿verdad? ¿harías esto? ¿podrías hacer esto? bueno no es podrías se lo vamos a ver después pero ¿harías esto? ok 
we can say, for example, Will she come to the park? Vendría a la fiesta? It's a, a valid question, right? Will she come to the party? Uh, yes, she would. Or no, she wouldn't. That will be it. Will she come to the party? Yes, yeah, she will. No, she wouldn't. Do you have any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta ahora? No questions. The most common, lo, lo más común que se hace para preguntar es el would you like? Que creo que lo vamos a ver más adelante, pero de una vez. Would you like to uh, go? This is very, very common. Would you like to go to the park? Véase que hay dos verbos. Would you like to go to the park? Entonces, este es como cuando yo digo, te gustaría. ¿Te gustaría ir al parque? Por eso es bien popular, bien común. O sea, would you like? Es te gustaría. Y de ahí le puedo agregar cualquier otro verbo que yo quiera. Te gustaría ir, te gustaría comer, te gustaría saltar, te gustaría whatever. So, ese lo vamos a ver un poquito más a profundidad más adelante, pero es de lo más popular. Would you like to go to the park? Would you like to go to the movie theater? Uh, would she like to go with us? Uh, would you like to eat pizza? That is very, very popular, okay? Questions? No questions, very good. So we are going to practice. Vamos a repetir todos. Everybody please repeat. She will go to the party. She will go, 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 go to the party. She will go to the party. She will go to the party. She will, party. She will not go to the party. She will not go to the party. She wouldn't go to the party. She wouldn't go to the party. They wouldn't cook pasta. My little sister wouldn't watch TV. My, my little sister, sister wouldn't watch TV. Watch TV. Would, would you cook with me? Would you, would would you, you cook, cook with me? Would you cook with me? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I Will she come to the party? Will she, she come, come to the party? party? Yes, she would. Yes, she would. No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. Would you like to go to the park? Would you like to go to the party? Okay. Do you have any questions so far? Pregunta, dudas? Con Wood? It's clear. Very good. I'm happy about that one. So now we're going to practice the writing part. Okay. Vamos a practicar la parte escrita. We're going to write three affirmative, three negative, mm -hmm. and three questions. So vamos a escribir tres afirmativas, tres negativas y tres preguntas. Y luego me las dicen. Les doy unos minutos y si hay preguntas, me las dicen. Les voy a dejar eso en pantalla para que pues, si tienen alguna pregunta o duda. But if you have questions, just ask me and I will be here, okay? Les doy unos minutos y luego me dicen. Good.
Okay, have you finished? Yes. Good, let's check. So we're gonna start with Josman Serrano. Okay, teacher. Okay. She will go to a concert. Okay. She will go to shopping. Go they shopping. Will go shopping. Yeah, not to, but go shopping. Sorry? Yeah, it will be, she will go shopping. No, go to shopping. Shop. Mm -hmm. Go shopping, okay. Uh, they, will, they will go to good movie. Okay. Question. Will she go to concert? Okay. Will she go shopping? Okay. Will they go to good movie? Okay. Negative sensor. She wouldn't go to concert. Okay. She wouldn't go, go shopping. Okay. They wouldn't go to build movie. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Okay, let's see. Affirmative sentence. Okay. They will build a house. Okay. They will, they will fix the car. Okay. He will buy the dinner. Okay. Negative sentence. I wouldn't come here okay. if I know you are here. Okay. She wouldn't jump on the desk. Okay. We wouldn't try to dance. Okay. Um, questions? Sorry. Um, question, will she wake up early? Okay. Will he run the seven kilometer? Okay. Would they work together? Okay, very good, perfect, very nice, thank you. Uh, Blanca Orantes. Teacher, aquí estoy. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, Afirmativo. Okay. He, he will go to the school. Okay. The girl will go to the park. Okay. Uh, moms, or no sé si sería my mom, moms will go to the supermarket. My mom is better, my mom. My mom, okay, uh, negative. He will not go, not, not go to the school. Okay. The gear will not go to the park. Okay. My mom's, my mom will not go to the supermarket. Okay. Uh, question. Will you help me? Yes, I help you. Yes, I will help you. Okay. Will you like to go to English class? Okay. Yes, I love. Okay. Sería la respuesta. Okay. Will she come to the gym? Yes, she will. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Thank you very much, Blanca. Uh, Salvador Bernal. Affirmative. I would teach English. Okay. She would cook chicken. Okay. We would watch a movie. Negative. He wouldn't travel to Spain. My dog wouldn't run in the park. They wouldn't walk in the mountain. Question, would you drive a truck? Would Mary write a letter? Would we learn English? Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, let's check now um, Jennifer Torres. 
Okay. He will play in the piano. Okay. I will cook in the breakfast. They will go to the beach. Okay. He won't drive the bus. I won't drink coffee. We will we wouldn't go to the park. Would you like eat pizza? Would he like drink a coffee cup? Would she come to my house? Okay, only in the question that it says, would you like to eat pizza? There you need to eat pizza. Okay. okay. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Jocelyn. Um, affirmative. Uh, she will cook at the wedding. He will study for the exam. She will sing in short. In negative, he he wouldn't go to camp. She wouldn't go to study. He wouldn't drink milk. A question. Uh, would he take the test? Yes, he would. Uh, could she buy the milk? Yes, she would. Would he, would he go to the pharmacy? No, he wouldn't. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Jocelyn. Carlos Dominguez. He will go to shopping. She will go to visit her parents. They will work tomorrow. Negative. He won't go to the shopping. She won't go to visit her parents. They won't work tomorrow. Question. Will you visit her brothers? Will she go? go to shopping, will they work tomorrow? Very good, very nice. Uh, only in the one that it says shopping, it will be, she will go shopping, not to shopping, only that. Good, perfect, thank you. Now, Alvaro, Ernesto. Okay, uh, affirmative. They would like to have that. They would like to have a, a job. We will do, we will, we will go to the stadium. She will to, he will to eat with me. Interrogative. They, they will not or they wouldn't like to have a job. We will not, we will not to the stadium. She will, she will not to eat with me. Only in that one, it might be better if you say she would like to, she would like to. She would. Or she wouldn't she would like, like uh -huh. she but would like, like to, to is better, uh -huh. or only the verb, good. Yeah. Go ahead, please. It with me, okay. Mm. Siempre tiene que ir like. En ese le queda mejor, en ese sí. Mm. No siempre, pero mm. en ese le queda nice. Sí, porque como like, gustar, y will es gustar, como que se repiten, dije yo, ¿verdad? No, will no es gustar. No. Eh, eh, will, gustaría. lo que hace es que con like, yo le diría, te gustaría. Entonces ya no es gustar, sino mm. que gustaría. Ok. Interrogativas. Okay. Would they like to have a job? Okay. Uh, will we? Will we go to the stadium? Good. Is the uh, will she to eat with me? Ah, will she? Ah, ahí o le quita el will, tú. Es que puede ser, would she eat with me or would she like to eat with me? Cualquiera de las dos, mm. it will be fine. Would she like? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would she like? Bueno. 
Good, perfect. Only thank you. Thank you. Nice, very good. Nice job. Nice. Uh, Marlon Paniagua. Hey, good night. Uh, good Hi. evening. Good evening. Uh, the affirmative. Uh, she will go to the beach the next weekend. They will watch the movie in my house. You will listen the concert of the Rams of the Ram, of Ramstein. Um, the negative Thomas wouldn't wouldn't paint the draw. We wouldn't play soccer this day. She wouldn't room in the night. And the question: Will you work for me? Will she drive the bus? And will we study English? Okay, very good, perfect. And Ramstein, it will be good concert. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see uh, who's missing. Uh, Rolando. Okay. Uh, boss, please. He will drive to the beach. Sorry, sorry. Sorry for my dogs. Uh, don't worry. We're pet friendly. Okay, I will start. He will drive to the beach. My dad will buy a new car. They will dance all the night. The negatives, I wouldn't say. Sorry, sir. I wouldn't buy a, buy a lot a of clothes. My nephew wouldn't play video games. And my cousin wouldn't paint the house. And the questions, would you like to dance with me? Would you like to come with us to the lake? And will she like to will she like the movie? Perfect. Very good. Nice. Nice job, Rolando. Good. Uh, let's see. Uh, just blank. Karen Rivas. Not possible. Okay, let's check another person. Carlos Dominguez, no sé si ya pasó. Sí, ya, teacher. Okay, very good, perfect. Carlos Arias, entonces. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, you. Hmm? you would like to eat. Hamburger, you will like cook. They go to the park. Uh, question Will you go to the city? Will he cook pizza? Will she drink tea? Nerdy. My father, my father wouldn't like a chicken. She will cook for a potato. They will study. Okay, very good, okay. perfect. Nice. Uh, let's check Brenda, Brenda de Villalta. Oh, de Villatoro, is it? sorry. Um, she will go to the beach. She will go shopping. She will go for uh, work negative. He will not go to the beach. He will not go shopping. He will not go for a uh, work. Uh, question Will you go shopping with me? Will you go to the beach with me? Will you go for a walk with me? Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Um, Irving, okay, Irving. Um, they would go to the mall. Uh, they would go to the mall. I would take a course about English. He would do the laundry. She wouldn't iron all day. Argentina wouldn't lose the next match. 
I wouldn't wake up early tomorrow. Would you go to the cinema tonight? Would she study at the college? Would I travel today? Very good, perfect. Thank you. And yes, we hope Argentina doesn't lose. Okay. Let's see who's missing. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. You will arrive early at work. He will clean the room. The room. She will buy a lot of clothes. You wouldn't try more. She wouldn't cry for him. We wouldn't paint the room. Will he practice the soccer? Will they listen to music? Will you lend money? Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. They were perfect. And Fatima, Omaña. Mm, not possible. I guess everybody did it, right? Creo que todos pasamos ya. Very good. Okay, it's a very good job, the one that we're doing here. Uh, by now, we're going to check the attendance because it's nine already, imagine. Okay, let's see. Alvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente here, teacher. Good, good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present, teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Presente. Good. Present, present. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Presente. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Sí. Presente. Good. Perfecto. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Presente. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Presente. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Present. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Very good. Perfect. So let's continue with the class. And let me just check something here okay we're gonna watch a little video that is about wood this is going to be very easy and very nice for you to see it so let's watch the video okay do you ever need to ask for help learn how to use modal verbs to ask for help and make other requests listen for ken and could in this story last saturday before i went to the library i called my friend and asked to use his bike Hi, Matt. Can I borrow your bike? Sure. On my way to the library, I got lost. Excuse me, could you please give me directions to the library? Of course. Go straight and then turn right. The library is on the left. There are several modal verbs we use to make requests. Can and could are two of them. Could is more polite than can, but adding please to any request makes it more polite. Unlike other modal verbs for requests, we can use both you and I after can and could. Can you help me with my homework? Can I borrow your car? Could you lend me a hand? Could I speak to your manager, please? 
click pause and rearrange the words to create a request. This is American English. Thank you for watching. Ok, so this is about the topic that we're going to start tonight. Este es el segundo tema que vamos a ver esta noche, que es cooled. Is another modal verb. Es otro modal verb. Pero antes de ese vamos a ver uno que es eh, respecto a wool. So let's check this video as well. Sometimes travel by bus. Learn how to ask for help at a bus station and make other requests using the modal verbs can, could, and would. Listen for these modal verbs in this story. Last week, my friend and I traveled to New York by bus. First, we had to buy bus tickets. Can you please hold my bag while I buy our tickets? Sure. Would you mind telling me how much a bus ticket costs? It's $15. And would you please tell me when the next bus to New York leaves? Certainly. It leaves at 3. Could I please have two tickets for the 3 o'clock bus? Of course. We use can, could, and would to make requests. Would and could are more polite than can. We can use both you and I after can and could. Can you help me carry my bags? Could you tell me when the bus will arrive? Can I borrow your bus map? Could I see your ticket? We use you but not I after would. Would you show me where the bus station is? Would you mind is even more polite than would. Unlike would, would you mind is followed by a verb in the ing form. Would you mind telling me which bus goes to New York? Click pause and choose the correct sentences. More than one sentence is correct. To learn more about using modal verbs to make requests, Check out some of our other videos on the American English Facebook page and YouTube channel. Okay, so it was very uh, like related to this one. So uh, I guess you see this one. This is another one that we can use. Would you mind, for example, would you mind opening the door? So do you know what is would you mind? Alguien sabe qué es would you mind? Te importaría. Very good. Ese es bien polite también, ¿verdad? Very, very polite. So would you mind? Y es cuando se pide algo bien polite, ¿ok? So, y ahí vieron algunos otros ejemplos de también el que vamos a ver a continuación, que es cooled. So this is the other model we're going to check tonight. So let's repeat everybody. Cool is a modal verb. Cool is a modal verb. To express cool possibility. Express possibility. Or past. Or past ability. Or past, or past ability. ability. As well as to make suggestions. And requests. Cool is also commonly used. Cool is also commonly used. In conditional sentences. In conditional sentences. As the conditional form of can. Okay, so let's check what we say. So cool is a modal verb. Just so ya lo sabíamos, ¿verdad? Que es un modal verb. Just to express possibility. Okay, entonces esto expresa una posibilidad. Possibility. Or past ability. O una habilidad, pero en el pasado. Como cuando yo digo, yo podía, ¿verdad? yo podía tocar la guitarra, pero ya no me acuerdo. So ese yo podía. En inglés sería cool. I could play the guitar. Yo podía. Ya no, ¿verdad? Se, ya, ya no lo hago. 
Eh, as well as. ¿Eso qué es? ¿Alguien sabe qué es as well as? as también como. También como, así como, something like that. Very good. To make suggestions and requests. Entonces, también para hacer sugerencias y pedir cosas, que es lo que vimos en el video, ¿verdad? Could you please? Y el video ahí va. Entonces, eh, tenemos, dice, cool is also commonly used in conditional sentences as the conditional form of can. Entonces, también lo podemos usar en las oraciones de condicional, pero eso es algo que igual vamos a ver más adelante, los condicionales. Very good. So, entonces, cool is a... Uh, Kind of similar to can, but it's not the same. Ok, vamos a comparar can con cool, porque es parecido, pero no es lo mismo. Ok, so for example, for ability, we are going to use can for the present ability. I can speak four languages, for example. Entonces, para una habilidad en el presente, ocupo can. Yo puedo. Right now, okay, I can speak four languages. And we are going to use cool for ability in the past. So, for example, he could play football when he was a kid. Él podía jugar fútbol cuando era un niño. Ya no, ¿verdad? Ya el tiempo pasa y como en Argentina se nos olvida. So, the next one, uh, hay preguntas con ability ahorita? Okay. No, I... Very good. Let's go to the next one. Possibility in the present. Para una posibilidad en el presente, can. Alcohol can cause cancer. So it's a possibility in the present. Okay. El alcohol puede causar cancer. Puede. Possibilidad. It's not for sure. And we're going to use cool for possibility in the past. Para posibilidad en el pasado, cooled. So, a lot of crime could be prevented. Mucho crimen se pudo haber prevenido. Could. Past. Any questions with possibility? Preguntas con possibility? Okay. And this one is very important. Permission. Okay. Permission informal. For informal situations, we are going to use can. Can I use your book, please? Informal, with friends, in situations that are not formal, okay? And we're going to use school for permission when it's very formal, polite, okay? Could I take your book, please? So, that is very important. Esta sí es importante, ¿verdad? Can, informal, for permission. Cool, polite, for permission. Questions for this? Preguntas acá? No. Good. Clear as or chata. Nice. Okay. Vamos a ver un par más. Because sometimes it's important to clarify. So, ability. Como ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? He can speak English fluently. I could run 10 miles when I was young. Entonces, habilidad presente can y pasado cool. Request. Recordemos, informal, can, uh, polite, cool. Can you take me to the Victoria Station? Informal. Could you lock the door when you leave? Very polite. Possibility. Okay, so este es diferente. Este no lo habíamos visto allá. General statement. In Norway, temperatures can be low as minus 50 Celsius degrees in winter. Entonces, cuando es un algo que es una posibilidad, pero es algo general, usamos can. So, in Norway, temperatures can be low. Uh, do you know what is low? What is low? Bajar. Bajo, ¿verdad? Pueden bajar. Very good. In Norway, what is Norway? Noruega. Noruega, ¿verdad? de allá donde hace mucho frío y que tampoco van al mundial. So, as, eh, dice, in Norway, temperatures can be low as minus, el menos sería minus 50 
Celsius, porque la C es de Celsius, degrees, para decir grados, sería degrees in the winter. General. And the other one is specific, okay? Specific event. The weather station say temperatures could be as minus 10 uh, Celsius degrees tonight. Entonces, la diferencia es que acá, ahí dice, la, la estación del clima dijo que las temperaturas podían bajar. O sea, hoy, esta noche, específico. En el primero es en general, pueden bajar. ¿Cuándo? No se sabe. A veces pueden bajar. Pero en el específico, ya dijeron que ahora podría bajar hasta los menos 10 grados. So, specific because it's tonight, esta noche. Any questions with this? ¿Alguna pregunta con esto? Esto no es muy común, pero es importante que lo sepamos. No questions. Let's check the other one. Things allowed. Cosas permitidas. Allow es como algo que se le permite. Things allowed. Present or future. We can use can. For example, you can take a holiday tomorrow if you want. Okay? You can. It's possible. Okay? Right now or tomorrow. Okay? Puedes tomarte vacaciones hoy o mañana. Uh, bueno, mañana si quieres. So, it's a possibility for the future, for tomorrow. Okay? And for the past, we're going to use cool. When I first started this job, we could take holidays when we wanted. Cuando inicié este trabajo, podíamos, podíamos tomar vacaciones cuando quisiéramos. Imagínense eso, ¿verdad? It would be fantastic. Yo creo que todo el mundial lo hubiera agarrado de vacaciones, yo, pero no se puede. So, eh, pasado, in past, we're going to use cool. Cuando se permitía algo. O cuando se va a permitir, se puede permitir en presente futuro, can. Any questions with this? Preguntas con este. No. Ok. And the last one, este ya lo habíamos visto. Permission. Informal. Can I borrow your car tomorrow? Informal. With friends. And polite. Could I choose my own doctor? So that is very formal, very polite. Questions. Pregunta, dudas. What is borrow? Borrow es prestado, pedir prestado. Okay. Can I borrow? O sea, eh, ¿puedo pedirte prestado tu carro mañana? Okay. That will be it. Very good. Good question. Any other question? Okay. So this is the usage. Excuse Now, me. Excuse me, teacher. Go ahead. Eh, question. Okay. Eh, eh, en este caso, cool, cool podría utilizarse por cosas que, que se dieron en el pasado, pero que se dieron, no por posibilidades. Puede ser por ambas, por posibilidades o cosas que se dieron. Ah, ok. Thank you. Good. Ok. Uh, well, this is not what we're going to check. We're going to check about cooled. Ok. The structure is going to be cooled. Plus, uh, actually, it's going to be subject. Subject uh, plus uh, the model called plus the main verb. Okay. So that is the little formula. Subject, model, cool, and main verb. For example, I could go tomorrow. Yo podría ir mañana. Ya no es yo iría. Yo podría. Ya no es yo puedo. Can you see the difference? If I say I can go tomorrow, that is yo puedo ir mañana. If I say I will go tomorrow, yo iría mañana. If I say I could go tomorrow, yo podría ir mañana. That is the difference. Okay? You can use that with any, any subjects. For example, uh, 
Okay, in that one, the subject, uh, en este el, el, el sujeto es todo, ¿verdad? The man in front of my house. Todo eso es el sujeto. So please remember that one. That is very important. The man in front of my house could paint a car. El hombre en frente de mi casa podría pintar un carro. Podría. Possibility in this case. Negatives are very easy. So for example, they could not. Uh, work. They could not work. Ellos no podrían trabajar. Very, very easy. Or we can say she couldn't, let's say, jump. Ellos no podrían saltar dentro de la casa couldn't okay she couldn't pronunciation couldn't okay and for the questions is also very very easy for example could you close the window the structure is the same primero va el modal el único cambio okay Could we come by bus? Podríamos venirnos en bus? Very, very easy. Now, do you have any questions? Me teacher. teacher. A ver. Yo me confundí porque al principio creí que con era una modalidad de verbo para usar en el pasado. A veces, a veces se puede usar para el pasado, que es lo que vimos acá arriba. So, for example, uh, uh, here, in ability, para habilidad, cuando hablamos de una habilidad, si usted quiere hablar en el presente, ocupa can. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I can play the guitar, yo puedo tocar la guitarra. It's in the present. Pero cool, si yo cambio can por cool, ahí en esa misma oración sería, I could play the guitar, yo podía tocar la guitarra. Entonces está hablando de futuro. Eh, presente o futuro. Ajá, podría es ajá. pasado. Podría. Lo que pasa es de que aquí cool ya no significa podría, aquí es podía, yo podía. Ah, ok. Ahí está el detalle. Ajá. Perfecto. Ya entendí. Ok, very good. Eh, Álvaro. Teacher. Ok. Eh, Nos queda claro de que cool es el, por decirlo así, el pasado de Will. Eh, ¿El pasado de quién? De, de, de Will, por decirlo así. Va. Will es el futuro, pero Will es, Will es el pasado. Algo así, a veces. Algo así, algo no así. Siempre, Vaya, de, 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 aquí, aquí sí nos queda claro con este cuadrito de los, de los ejemplos, uh -huh. pero donde sí yo, no sé si mis compañeros igual, pero como que no mucho entendí, es en el cuadrito que nos presentó anteriormente y así como que, eh, como, que no, como que me enredé un poco en este uh -huh. mm, este es bastante fácil se lo explico otra vez, vamos a ver sería, para habilidad ability o sea, yo puedo hacer algo uh -huh. si está en el presente, o sea, can yo puedo, lo uh -huh. que le decía I can play the guitar y para el pasado yo ocupo cool I could play the guitar. Mm -hmm. Yo podía. Ya no puedo. Podía. Ok. Ajá. Igual para posibilidad. Una posibilidad en el presente es can. For example, alcohol can cause cancer. El alcohol puede causar cáncer. Ahorita ¿verdad? le puede causar. Si usted toma mucho, le puede causar cáncer. Y en el pasado, eh, usamos cool. A lot of crime could be prevented. Mucho crimen se pudo prevenir. So that is, ¿está claro por ahí? Sí, 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 sí vamos. Okay. Ahora, lo sí, más común, esas no son tan comunes, pero lo más común es lo último, donde dice permission. Los dos, los dos la puedo ocupar. O sea, yo puedo decirle, por ejemplo, uh, can I open the door? O puedo decir, could I open the door? 
Si yo digo, can I open the door? Es algo así como, ¿puedo abrir la uh, puerta? Y la otra sería, could you open the door? Podría abrir la puerta. ¿Verdad? Ahora, en español no hay mayor diferencia, pero en inglés sí. En inglés la diferencia es que yo ocupo can cuando es informal, cuando estoy con mis amigos, con mi familia. Yo le puedo decir a alguien, can you open the door, please? ¿Puedes abrir la puerta? En cambio, si yo estoy en una entrevista o en algo formal, ya no ocupo can. Se ve mal en inglés. Tenemos que ocupar could, que es formal, es polite. ¿Ok? Las dos son iguales, idénticas. El asunto es el uso. ¿Cómo yo lo voy a usar? Si ustedes están en algo muy formal y ocupa can, mmm, lo van a ver como que, que confianzudo, ¿verdad? En inglés. That is the difference. No sé si le queda claro. Sí, sí. Very good, perfect. Marlon. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Because the bear is not fast. Um, I don't get your question. ¿Podría pre preguntarme? Uh, ¿Por qué en vez de conjugarse el, el verbo en pasado, por qué, por qué se queda en, en presente? Ah, muy buena pregunta. Porque el modal lo que hace es transformar al verbo. Esa es la función del modal. Nosotros en español no tenemos. Pero en inglés es mucho más fácil porque yo le pongo el modal y ya cambia el verbo. That is it. Hay muchos modals. Entonces, hay algunos, como Ken, que tienen como su propio significado. Yo puedo, ¿verdad? Pero hay otros, como Wool, que se unen al verbo para darle un uso, un significado. Lo que pasa es que es lo que les decía. En inglés y en español es diferente. En inglés yo vengo y les digo, estos son los modals y se usan con el verbo. Y el verbo, en la mayoría de casos, no en todos los casos, no cambia. Porque lo que estoy expresando es algo diferente. El modal me ayuda a identificar qué quiero expresar. O sea, no es lo mismo yo puedo, yo puedo manejar, que yo podía manejar, que yo manejaría. Todo eso es diferente. Entonces... En español, el asunto es el español. En español, yo puedo ocupar palabras separadas o puedo conjugar el verbo. Es una conjugación total. Por ejemplo, would, en español, no tenemos una palabra para would. O sea, si usted me pregunta qué es would en español, no existe. No hay palabra para would. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Es que en español, yo digo iría, yo iría, yo comería. Pero yo lo que transformo, o sea, hay un tiempo completo que en español... Funciona de esa manera. En inglés no existe eso. Existen los modals que me ayudan a, a cambiar estas situaciones. Entonces, lo que hacemos aquí es ver cuál es el equivalente en español. O sea, el equivalente en español de quién es poder. Yo puedo. El equivalente en español de cool es podría o podía. El de wool no existe. Pero lo que yo utilizo en inglés, el equivalente sería yo iría, yo comería, yo saltaría. Entonces, y los modals en inglés casi siempre, no siempre, pero casi siempre se utilizan con el verbo en la forma base. I can go. I will go. They could go. Entonces cambia lo que yo quiero expresar, pero el verbo es el mismo. Es gramática, es una regla. Very good, perfect. Do you have any other question? Me gusta que me pregunten. That is nice. Es importante que quede todo claro, ¿verdad? Igual, muchas veces va a pasar esto. Muchas veces se explica algo y nos quedamos como que... Mm. Pero cuando ya lo usamos es como que, ah, ya, aquí está el asunto, ¿verdad? So, it's very easy. Hay muchas cosas que yo... Para serles muy honesto, pienso que el tiempo más complicado es el presente simple. Si usted ya maneja el presente simple y ya vamos a llegar a un repaso de eso. Lo demás is very easy. It's a matter of you to practice. Solo hay que practicar, ¿verdad? That is the most important thing. Good. Questions before we move on. Preguntas antes de que continuemos. Ok. Let's practice. Vamos a repetir. Let's repeat everybody. I could go tomorrow. I could go tomorrow. 
The man in front of my house could paint a car. The man in front of my house could paint a car. They could not work. They, they could, could not work. Not work. She couldn't jump inside the house. She couldn't, she couldn't jump inside the house. Could you close the window? Could, Could you close the, the window? window? Could we come by bus? Could, Could we, we come by bus? by bus? Very good. Remember the pronunciation is couldn't. 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 Very good. Okay. Let's practice. Now is your turn. Ahora es su turno. Igual, ¿verdad? Tres afirmativas, tres negativas y tres preguntas. Let's write. Vamos a escribir. Los espero y si tienen preguntas, me dicen. Of course.
Om. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos. Uno, dos, tres. Sería uno, dos, tres. Vale, entonces ¿qué sería. Por si por si go in the Monday. He go at the restaurant in the hotel or or No, no, I have you finished already? Yes, okay, let's. Practice, let's share. Edwin, let's start with you. Okay. Affirmative sentences. I could advise for me. She could change her computer. They could need more time to finish the activity. Negative sentence. He couldn't watch the movie last night. We couldn't decorate the room. She couldn't help you. And question, could you please share your email? Could he listen to me? Could you brush your teeth? Very good, perfect, very nice, thank you. Uh, Marlon Paniaguas. Uh, teacher, uh, write these sentences. Todavía la estoy escribiendo. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay. 
Le voy a dar entonces un par de minutos más, just in case anybody else hasn't finished. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's uh, continue then. And the, the affirmative, uh, you could run very fast. She could read a book in one week. They could sing a song in English. And the negative. We couldn't, couldn't speak English. Diana couldn't, could, me cuesta pronunciar esa palabra en negativo, me lo repito. Va, ahí sería could and, así se pronuncia. Son dos could. palabras, dos sonidos, could y luego and, sería couldn't. Couldn't. Uh -huh. Ok. Diana couldn't drive a car. Uh, we couldn't watch the World Cup match. Ok. Ah, uh, questions. Ah, okay. The question is, could you, you watch the, the soccer? And okay. Could she drive a motor truck and could the car for that? Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. That was Thanks. very nice. Okay, now let's listen to Salvador Bernal. Affirmative. I could visit my parents. We could play basketball together. My son could ride a bicycle. Negative. I could, I couldn't think clearly. He couldn't speak Portuguese. You couldn't watch TV. Question. Could I drink a soda? Could you play with me? Could she go to the dentist? Very good. Perfect. They are so perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Salvador. Álvaro, Ernesto. Okay. Uh, uh, afirmativas, afirmativa. Okay. She could drive a car. She could drive a car. They could dance all night. He could sing very well. Negative. She could not or she couldn't drive a car. They could not dance all night. He could not sing very well. Interrogative. Could she drive a car? Could they, could they dance all night? Could she... 
Could she is no, perdón. Could he sing very well? Perfect. Very good. Nice job, Álvaro. Nice. Uh, let's check now with Rolando. Thank you, teacher. I can drive a car very well. I could cook my dinner tomorrow. My sister could go out with her friends. And negative. I couldn't take my day off the last week. My boss couldn't my boss couldn't come to work this morning. My niece couldn't not play today. And questions could I could I use your computer? Can you give me a hand with my homework, please? Can you help me with can you help me with my car? Very good, perfect. Thank you, Rolando. That was amazing. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. I could visit the beach. You could walk more. She could cook tacos. You couldn't come today. He couldn't drive at night. We couldn't enjoy the show. Could you buy a new cell phone? Could she travel the next week? Could he eat hot food? Perfect, very good, nice. Thank you, Rose. Uh, Jocelyn. Um, affirmative. She could go to the market. He could walk the dog. She could, she, she could um, go with me to the hospital. He couldn't drink at the party. She couldn't go to the beach. He couldn't read the newspaper. Could you cook for Christmas? Could you dance with me? Could you read me a history? Very good, perfect. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. Uh, let's check now, Carlos Dominguez. She could travel tomorrow. They could attend on Friday. My brother could paint the house. Uh, negative. She couldn't travel tomorrow. They couldn't attend on, on Friday. My brother couldn't paint the house. Question. Could you call you like travel tomorrow? Could you paint the house? Call he right now? Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, only in the one that we use like, could you like to? Ahí siempre vamos a usar el to después de like si usamos otro verbo. That's the only thing, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see, uh, Jennifer Torres. Okay. I will play basketball. He could drive the car. My sister could run fast when she was a kid. Negative. I couldn't go to the gym. They couldn't speak English. She couldn't eat meat. A film is the preguntas. Could you work in Sonsonate? Could you eat sushi? Could we go to the concert? Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Karen uh, Jamilet. Okay, um, she could take the, the children and she could be back noon. And you could call, to, you could call her tomorrow. And 
you couldn't call her. She couldn't back noon. And could she take the children? And could you call her? I don't know, that's okay. That is fine, very good, perfect, thank you. Irving, is a... When I was a shy, I could do a lot of exercise. Good. They could Good. memorize a lot of things. We could eat dinner together. I couldn't sleep early yesterday. She couldn't run. He couldn't find his keys. Could you do something for me? Could you help me with the English class? How could you, how could you leave me? Very good, perfect. Very Thank good, you. perfect. Thank you. Now, Josman Serrano. Not possible, I guess. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Uh, he could go tomorrow to play basketball. We call go work. She call go cook in the morning. Uh, negative sentence. Uh, he called he called go tomorrow to play basketball. We call go go work. She called go cook in the morning. And um, question sentence. Call he go tomorrow to play basketball. Call we go work. Could she go cook in the morning? Okay, very good, perfect, very nice, thank you. Uh, Blanca Orantes. Um, affirmative. She called go, go in the Monday in the hotel. He called go at the Chinese restaurant. Our friend called go to party. Negative. She called not go in the Monday. He called not go at the Chinese restaurant in the hotel. Our friend called not go to party. Question. Call she go in the Monday. Could he go at the Chinese restaurant in the hotel? Call or friend go to party. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's check uh, Brenda de Villa Toro. Um, I could eat a salad. He could play soccer. She could play the piano. Uh, negative, I could not eat a salad. He could not play soccer. She could not play the piano. Um, question, could you play with me? Could you sing with me? Could you go shopping at the supermarket? Perfect, very good, nice. Uh, let's see Fatima Omaña. Uh, affirmative, she could sing, he could anything. She could start working tomorrow and negative. He couldn't finish his homework. He couldn't anything. She couldn't sing. And question, could you pass me the salt, salt please? And could she help her mother with the shopping? Could you help me homework? 
Okay, very good, perfect. Only in the one that it says anything. En esa de anything, creo que le falta el verbo principal. Pero de ahí todo perfecto. Okay. Good. And okay. Carlos Arias. I could play the piano when I was five. My sister could ride her bike. She was seven. My brother could swim. Uh, nearly. She couldn't sing. They couldn't play soccer. I couldn't ride a bike. Uh, questions. Could you could you lend me the book, please? Could I have some work, please? Could she sing, please? Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, seems that everything is fine. Ya ven, ya usándolo ya es más fácil, verdad? Simplemente le podemos ser cool y ya decimos lo que queremos decir. So it's not difficult at all. Okay, um, alguna pregunta? Do you have any questions before we finish here? No questions. Good, that is fine. No. Perfect. So we have a few minutes y cuando tengamos tiempo ya sabemos que vamos a hacer práctica. So we are going to practice. No recuerdo con quién estuve ayer, pero ¿quién quiere ahora practicar? Anybody? Yeah. Can I? Of course. Let's do it. Very good. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. How about you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. And uh, what's your name? My name is Karen Rivas. Very good. Thank you, Karen. And uh, where do you live? I live in Alta Vista, Ilopango. Oh, Ilopango. And do you work there in Ilopango? No, I work in San Salvador. Oh, my goodness. So you travel every day? Yes. Imagine. How much time do you travel? Since uh, 4 a.m. In my, what time do you get to your job? I get in 6.30 a.m. Suppose, yeah. but I stay before that hour. Of course, but it's around two hours trip. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, right? Um, could you please tell me about your family? Okay. Um, Mary, I have two kids. The first one is 17 years old, and the second one is 11 years old. Very nice. You have a very nice family. Good. Yes. Okay. And uh, what do you usually do on the weekends? I usually work on the weekends. Oh, my goodness. That's heavy. And what day do you rest? What is your free day? Um, depends. <laughs> when I have free days, I spend a lot of time with my family. And I try to cook to them or uh, watch a movie, go out with them. Okay. But which day of the week is the one that you rest? Mondays, Tuesday? I don't have time in the weekend because I work at school to Monday to Friday. So I work in the morning. But sometimes in the afternoon, I have a, a little work with other students by other places. Okay, very interesting. That job seems that is it's nice. It's kind of hard, but it's nice. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. Okay, very nice. So you can see the English is very easy and it's very fun. So we're going to check the attendance, my friends, and we're going to finish the class of tonight. So recordemos que todos los días hay one ones. Ahora le toca a Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. So let's check the attendance. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present, Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. 
present. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villatoro. Present. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. Good. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.